All right, welcome back. It's that time. Your business news now. Mike Apple standing by in the wings right here. Good morning, Mike. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? Oh, I'm doing all right. Uh, wow, check out the markets. What is going on? Mm -hmm. Continuing a rolling. Yep, uh, couldn't give away stocks earlier this summer, and now everybody wants to flood back in uh, to the markets. Uh, Melanie, we've seen a powerful rally here for stocks over the past several weeks now, and so much so that the Nasdaq's back in a bull market. It's up 20% from its recent lows. The Dow Jones yesterday surged 500 points plus, and it's up again this morning. And the TSX is coming off a big rally. The catalyst, inflation. Because the market looks at the inflation figures and tries to extrapolate how much higher interest rates are going to go because inflation is still very high. Um, yesterday, we had the U.S. inflation report, which showed a headline of 8.5%. That is still an incredibly high level for inflation. But it was down from June. So the talk is that inflation may have peaked. Gas prices in the United States have dropped 57 days in a row as of this morning below $4 per gallon U.S. So maybe, just maybe, interest rates, while they're going to go up, maybe not at the aggressive pace as uh, had been previously expected. We'll see. It's, it was only one month, but everybody just got very excited about it for uh, some reason and sent the markets significantly higher yesterday. Oh, by the way, we are hearing that the price for gas here in the GTA might be going up overnight uh, Maybe as much as eight cents a liter. Eight? We'll be following that. Eight yeah, cents. let's talk about that. Okay. Uh, oil has jumped here a little bit in the past couple of days. We'll dig further into that this morning. All right, we'll watch on that one, Mike. Uh, mm -hmm. What are customers looking for? Let's see, cheaper prices, and this translates yep. also at the grocery store. Yeah, getting uh, with the inflation uh, uh, trend, I suppose, uh, you know, Metro, the uh, grocery store chain, uh, reported yesterday its earnings profit and sales both up but what they're seeing is a, a big increase in sales activity at uh, discount brands uh, people looking for the lowest price they possibly can get uh, and uh, the freshco uh, brand for metro uh, seeing a big jump in sales so uh, we're, we're going to get uh, loblaws earnings you know and then that'll probably show the exact same trends melanie people are trying to find out the best way to save as much money as they can at the checkout and going for uh, no name and discounts. Here's where you're not going to save. And when it comes to the Disney Plus subscription, uh, a lot of people's ears just perked up right there. I know I mm -hmm. have a subscription right now. Mouse as ears. Well. Yes. The mouse, mouse ears. ears. There you go. Very good. Right. Disney reported earnings. And across the board, this company is doing very well. People, I, I think we've seen this in travel this, this summer. People will spend whatever it takes to go wherever they want to go. That was the kind of the, the pendulum effect of uh, shutting things down. So Disney parks have been packed. Uh, uh, the, the revenue stream at Disney parks jumped 72% compared to a year ago. Uh, Disney Plus streaming has 151 million subscribers. That was up. Um, and they're raising prices. Now, this is in the United States. I do want to put that caveat. We haven't gotten confirmation that it's going up here in Canada. But if the trend in the U.S. Is, it holds true here, the ad-free version of Disney Plus is going up 38% price as of December to $10.99 U.S. That's uh, just over $14 uh, Canadian. Uh, Netflix will set you back about $19. So prices are going up. Production costs are up as well. So that's uh, the main reason why they're uh, hiking prices. And we'll see if we can get confirmation about uh, uh, the Disney Canadian mm -hmm. pricing going forward. I wouldn't be surprised if that followed suit, right? Like that seems to, seems it, to be the trend. There, makes sense. There's a trend. Um, finally, what is on Mike Apple's bucket list? Field of Dreams. Field of Dreams. Mm. The, the site of that uh, 1989 movie uh, with Kevin Costner. Um, today is the Field of Dreams game. Major League Baseball has taken this and run with it and made the uh, uh, site just outside of Dyersville, Iowa, a big tourist attraction. Um, uh, Major League Baseball game there tonight. And they're actually building a larger stadium nearby. So if you build it, they will come, uh, Melanie. So they, as the, uh, <laughs> so they say. But I will say as well that it's on my bucket list, not just to go to this game sometime, but also Dyersville, Iowa, is the home to the National Toy Tractor Hall of Fame. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. So you, I, I might have a vested interest in that. Um, also, the nearby site um, of the uh, uh, plane crash that uh, killed... Uh, Buddy Holly and Richie Valens and the Big Bopper uh, and led to the, um, I don't know if you saw the American Pie documentary. No. The, the making of that song. It's on uh, Netflix right now. It's excellent. So there's a whole bunch of things in Iowa. Who knew? My okay. kids are like, Iowa, really? Well, Dad. Get that on. <laughs> get there, Mike. You need to. I will.
someday. It's you will. And it's gonna I be, believe in you. I, and, I, and I will send back pictures. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike, have yourself a good day. We'll talk to you soon.